So the title of this mini podcast is Direction. Some people have a hard time warming up to direction. In the past, I'd put myself at the top of that list. But for me, the wind changed direction. A little backstory. I was a radio program director in my broadcasting days. Part of my job was offering direction to the on-air talent. And from my experience, I can safely say that most men don't take direction well. It's a matter of pride. A lot of guys figure they should already know what they don't know, and direction for them causes lots of frustration. Direction reminds them of what they don't know but think that they should. The gap between where you are and where you think you should be always causes internal friction. Directors need a tough hide, and the knowledge that many whom they are offering direction to don't think they need any. Reminds me of a story. Many years ago, I was working in Kansas City at a radio station, and I told a joke on the air that was offensive. Now, I didn't think so at the time, but the program director got some phone calls of complaint. He could have come into the studio and flat out told me, don't ever do anything like that again. That would have been met with a lot of resistance. He knew better because he was a savvy director. Here's what he did say. I've just received a number of calls about the remark you made. I can tell the calls are orchestrated because they all use the precise same wording in their complaint. I'm not going to tell you not to do it again, but if you do, I'm giving them your home phone number. (laughs) He then walked out of the studio. Now that's direction. He offered me a different choice besides my way or the highway, which is necessary at times, but by and large is the least effective form of direction. Men and women both share the following in common about direction. If they don't like who it's coming from, it's a lot harder to carry it out. Here's my direction to those resisting direction. Enter adulthood. I've mentioned this story before, but it bears repeating here. My hypnosis mentor, Dr. Dave Dobson, had us do an exercise where we would imagine being told to do something by someone in authority whom we didn't like. The minute we reached that feeling of discomfort, we were to look down at our hands and laugh aloud. The purpose of the exercise was to let us know that there will always be people telling us what to do, no matter who we are. He said whether we're the President of the United States or Bill Gates, we would have people telling us what to do. The exercise was to learn to laugh at the reality instead of getting caught up in the frustration. The exercise interrupted our pattern way of poorly responding to direction, no matter what direction it was coming from. You know, it'd be wonderful if we could like everybody, but that's not happening anytime soon. The adult response is to separate the wheat from the chaff, or said another way, don't confuse the message with the messenger. So let me pose a question. Which direction is your life headed? Is it going to be more of the same, railing against reality, or is it time to change direction? Walking against the wind can be refreshing at times, but if you do it as a matter of course, it's no longer special, and it's counterproductive. Let me quote the grasshopper here. You can't go in a new direction with old habits. Remember this. Direction is only a suggestion, no matter how forcefully it's stated. You do have a choice. You already know where the old path leads. The only question left is, Are you adult enough to head in a new direction? All the best, John.